David, we know you like coffee. You don't need to show us every time you prepare it. Oh, you don't know the half of it. First things first, I'm an actor. I'm also a fresh transplant from the Midwest to Los Angeles, California. Between those two things, I am the perfect victim, the best candidate for acting and modeling scams. And I don't want to brag, but I was chosen. After for a while putting in submissions on a few different websites, I finally got something of note. I got an email from Springview Films. It begins, hello, we're casting models and actors for an upcoming shoot for our client, mobile app intelligence named among the top mobile app development companies in Silicon India. And all of it really does read like a casting call. All I had to do was submit my contact info, so what I had already given them, my email and phone number, as well as three images and headshots, the city I reside in, my age, my weight, and my height. All standard stuff for any kind of modeling and acting work. And so I do that. I send that in. Boom. I get a reply. They say, David, thank you so much for responding to our casting call. And then they talk about their company, Springview Films. They say that they specialize in so many different things. Again, the purpose of the shoe, it's a commercial. They rehash a bunch of the other things that they've already said. So this is all the hook, by the way. And the real point on this hook is the compensation and union contract detail. $1,000 a day for two days, so $2,000, boom, flat. And then $3,000 for usage. Total amount to be paid, 5K, five grand, five big ones. The 550 big ones, I don't $5,000. It's all very weird. They talk about when they want to shoot, but they don't have a studio secured yet, so they don't know. They even say that you get to keep your wardrobe, but, but they allocate $500 to wardrobe. So they're going to give you $5,000, but up to $500 of that is going to be spent on your wardrobe, but you get to keep the wardrobe. So you make $4,500 plus clothes. Awesome. It's not awesome though. Let's keep going. Location of the shoot. They say they have to make sure everything is perfectly in place before they have a location picked out. Good working relationship can mean long-term working relationship with a company. That's exciting. That means more $5,000 checks. Great. They also have the contract for the person to sign. And I do. I print it out. I sign it up. I send it back. David, why did you sign the contract if you felt weird about it? Well, I knew that the best case situation was they give me $5,000. Woohoo. Great. It was an actual shoot. Cool. Worst case, it ends up being a scam. Nobody who is committing fraud is going to try to pressure somebody into civil litigation. They can't be in court. They say, thank you for sending back the contract. Everything is great. You seem like a very nice person. I look forward to working with you. Then they keep calling the shoot a gig. They're like, this is a good gig. I look forward to seeing you grow and develop your acting and modeling into an outstanding career that exhibits a high level of professionalism. So goofy. Take care and God bless at the end. Okay. And by the way, the entire time I'm checking their website, it's springviewfilms.com. And then you can go to the client showcase and it shows all of the different commercials that they've been a part of. But a quick look into any of these commercials shows who really produced these things. They had no hand in it. Next day, important update. Total of 4,950 was mailed out by the sponsor company. They're trying to make you feel comfortable with this company who's going to be sending you a check who you've never heard of before. They say have the check deposited to your account or through the bank ATM. Take a picture of the deposit slip and receipt with the phone and have it sent to his phone number. Christian Gomez, by the way. He's my point of contact the entire time. Christian Gomez. You can blank out your account details on this slip. You don't, we're not looking for that. And he closes by noting that all contracts and paperworks are backed up by power of attorney and it is important that I follow his instructions carefully. He's saying that because I signed a contract, I have to do all of these things, otherwise they will sue me. And later that day, it arrives. This is it, actually. This is the thing I got in the mail. It's from Alexander Sharapova, 7112 North Fresno Street, Fresno, California, 93720. And a quick Google search leads to a lot of people on ripoff reports saying that this guy's not good. And inside of this parcel is a single envelope, nothing crazy. Not even sealed, by the way. It's just like open, a little flat. Let's take it out. Let's see what's going on. First thing that goes through my mind, this feels like a fake check. I used to work at a bank. I know how to detect these things. Look at the name of the bank listed on there. They don't have to have like an address or their name, but they do have to have bank information. It says TD Bank, but there's not like a phone number or an address for TD Bank. And I noticed that the logo on this check just seemed all kinds of not good. It's really pixely on the edges. It doesn't look very sharp or clean. And I decided to look up the different TD Bank routing numbers also. And the routing number on this check does not match any of theirs. And I say, let's zoom out one further. Let's see if this is even a routing number. And no, it didn't belong to any bank at all. And I showed it to Rebecca. I'm like, this is what a fake check looks like. And she says, uh, yep, obviously. Wait, hold on. What do you mean? Obviously? She looks at me and she says, uh, they spelled official wrong. And they did. They spelled the word official wrong. The one thing on the check that's supposed to be like, this is a real check 
was misspelled. It says Ofical Check. Ofical Check. What? Get out of my face. Are you kidding me right now? This is hilarious. I love it. The second this is delivered to my apartment complex, I get a text message from Christian Gomez, and he asks me, Did you get your package? And I'm like, uh, no. I, I haven't. But, but it, it says it was delivered, though. You, you should have gotten a check. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I got a check. I didn't talk about how I knew it was fake. And he's like, okay, you need to deposit it. You have to do that. I'm like, oh, no, I was going to do that, you know, after the actual shoot. But until then, when is it going to be? Do you know which dates yet? Do you know where? Anything about it? He's like, we can't get the location until you deposit your check. And I said, I've already shredded the check. You don't have to worry about me. But I do hope that you find the talent that you need for this project. Thanks for the opportunity. I'm so cheeky. But David, he was just gonna give you money. The worst thing that could happen is they take it out of your account when they see it wasn't a real check. And that's halfway correct. They would take that money out of my account after they realized it wasn't a real account that it was being drawn on. However, I knew also that they were going to say, all right, great, the funds have cleared, give us back $500 so that we can shop for your wardrobe, then we'll get you back the balance after the actual shoot. I knew that was gonna happen. So that money would have been in my account. They would have said, give us back that 500, and then they would have taken the $5,000 out of my account. So I lose $500 of my money. If I had spent anything off of the original 5,000 that I had deposited, that's gone too. That's real money lost. And they can get out of Dodge scot-free because there's no actual account information associated with that check. So I'm glad I'm smarter than that. But I also, like, holy crap. What did I learn? I learned that just try to stay with like legitimate companies and people that you trust and people that are real organizations. If something smells fishy and seems too good to be true, it probably is. That's a big thing that I learned. I also learned not to count your chickens before they hatch. Obviously, I didn't spend any of the money that was sent to me. I also didn't emotionally or mentally prepare for having this kind of cash in my bank account all of a sudden. I realized that slow and steady really does win the race. Of course, there's no like set path to becoming a good actor. One that can find consistent work, success, but there are checkpoints throughout every success story and if I don't hit those checkpoints, I don't feel fulfilled. I know I'm not ready for the kind of work that can pay that kind of money right now in my life. That's just where I am. Be honest with yourself. Where are you right now? I think the grind is important. I think you need to earn your stripes. I don't think it has to be hard or ludicrous or ridiculous. But without the kind of sweat equity that I think is important, the story starts to lose its value. Nobody likes the guy that's great at everything. You want to see both sides of that coin. And I think that's what I'm going to leave you with. Uh, try to find the lesson in everything that seems a little bad in your life. It's not always immediate. It's oftentimes you have to look back. It has to be in retrospect. It has to be in hindsight. But the goal is to make that hindsight closer and closer so that something can be going bad in your life but instantly you can flip that a little bit. If you can bring that time closer together, almost simultaneous, whew, what a really interesting and cool life you can live. I try to do that. I encourage you to do that also. In the comments down below, let me know if you've ever been scammed at all. And if you're comfortable, I want to know like different learning experiences you've had in your life that seemed terrible at the time, but now you realize were so important. I know it's asking a lot of an audience of just a few, but I think it's important to think about your life in that way. And so if this is how I can encourage you to do that, awesome. We're doing great. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button on the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing on the channel. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm gonna go. So yeah. It's not hot anymore, but... Bye?